Introduction One day Sonia's uncle gave two chocolates to Sonia and said, Sonia, the bigger chocolate is for you and the smaller one is for your younger brother. Sonia could not make out which of the two chocolates was bigger. Which chocolate should I eat and which one should I give to Rohan? Friends, can you help Sonia in deciding which chocolate is bigger and which one is smaller? Come, let us find together the answers of such questions in the lesson Area and Perimeter. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define area and perimeter Calculate the area and perimeter of square and rectangular figures Tell the units used for measuring the areas Friends, we already know about the closed figures like squares and rectangles. For example, this chart paper is a rectangular chart while the chessboard is a square. How the area and perimeter of such mathematical figures can be calculated? The measure of the region enclosed by a closed figure is called its area. Perimeter of a closed figure is the length of its outer boundary. Let us now find the ways of calculating area and perimeter of rectangles and squares. Friends, we have these two chocolates. Let us find out which one is bigger and which one is smaller. We will take the help of one square piece of chocolate of side 1 cm. The length of the chocolate A is 5 cm. So, 5 squares can be arranged along its length. The width of this chocolate is 2 cm. So, 2 squares can be arranged along its width. Thus, in total, 10 squares can be arranged on it. So, the area of chocolate A is 10 square centimeters. Now, let us find the area of chocolate B. The length of the chocolate B is 4 cm. Its width is 3 cm. So, Four squares can be arranged along its length and three squares can be arranged along its width. In total, 12 squares can be arranged on this chocolate. Can you tell what would be its area? Very easy. It's 12 square centimeters. So, among chocolates A and B, chocolate B is bigger in size. We have found the area of the chocolate B by counting the total number of squares on it. Alternatively, we can also calculate the area just by multiplying the number of squares along the length of the chocolate with the number of squares along its width. Thus, area is equal to the length multiplied with the width. What would be the perimeter of the chocolate B? Let us find out. The perimeter will be equal to the twice the sum of the squares along its length and width. Thus, perimeter of chocolate is equal to 14 centimeters. Alternatively, perimeter is equal to the twice the sum of the lengths and widths. This is a room of length 900 centimeters and width 550 centimeters. Rohan wants to change the tiles of the floor. If each side of the new tile is 10 cm, then how many tiles will be needed? Let us find the area of the room first. Area of the room is equal to the length multiplied by the width. It is equal to 4,95,000 square centimeters. Let us find the area of the tile now. Area of the tile is equal to 10 multiplied by 10. It is equal to 100 square centimeters. We can find the number of tiles needed by dividing area of the room by the area of each tile. Thus, number of tiles needed is equal to 4950. Look at this postcard. Its area is equal to 15 square centimeters. What about the area of this belt? It is also 15 square centimeters. Both postcard and belt are of same area, but their sizes are different. What about their perimeters? Do both have same perimeters? Let us find out. Perimeter of postcard 
is equal to 16 centimeters, while the perimeter of belt is 32 centimeters. Thus, the things with same area can take different forms. The perimeter of such things can be same or different. How many children can stand in a square room of side 10 meters? And how many children can stand in this square playground of side 10 kilometers? It is clear that more number of children can be adjusted comfortably in the playground. The area of the room is equal to 100 square meters, while the area of the playground is equal to 100 square kilometers. Thus, square kilometer is bigger unit for measuring area of the figures than square meter. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The measure of the region enclosed by a closed figure is called its area. Perimeter of a closed figure is the length of its outer boundary. Area of square is equal to side into side. Area of rectangle is equal to length into width. Perimeter of square is equal to 4 into side. Perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into within bracket length plus width the units used for measuring the area are square centimeter square meter and square kilometer